then you will see a little message box at the top right. Now we get to our marquee matchup. Young Kiv taking on D. Croft in this uh, a very interesting matchup, books. You got Young Kiv, first Friday Night Football, uh, so so focused on the MCS and getting those belts. Now that that season's over, he's here in Friday Night Football. Taking on D-Croft, a guy who is not only a veteran of Friday Night Football, but two titles. I mean, he is he has been dominant, and, and last week was very close to his third. Yeah, you know, D. Croft is one of the one of the F and F goats, and you know he's 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 bought out pretty much. Ever since he's he's made his first appearance in um, Friday Night Football, and he's he's really he's the first he's the only not even just the first but he's the only back to back FNF winner so far in our short history, and he's he's really played well in every tournament. Big so hit. it should be a really really interesting thing. And then Kiv's you know he's a he's a great man player. You know you can't who's that on the you can never lines? sleep on him. It's a legend, Mr. Madden himself. Man, that coach right there is glitchy. <laughs> yeah, what he does for a team, especially on salary cap, with him not having, he doesn't have a cap, so you can you can raise the the speed on your players so high, so you can, you can go from having a 96, 96 speed guy to him having he's got to made down the field ninety nine. Good discipline there by Decroft though, strafing back, making sure he doesn't get fooled by a spin move. You see Kiv using Mike Vick at quarterback, finding To on the left side. That wide receiver core, Owens, Jones, Sharp at tight end, and Kenny Galladay. It's a pretty good. Uh, who's that running back, Fournette? Leonard yep. Fournette, the bowling ball. He's got some speed up the middle. Look at him hit this gap. Pick up 11. Scott Shadow saying, was Bobby Bell, Bell and Bell Biv DeVoe? <laughs> I think it's it's possible. I mean, it's possible. Poison. Yeah. And that's a classic song right there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the majority of the chat has no idea who that is. I'm so sorry. There you go. We got that boy is poison. First round action here. Friday Night Football number 14. Appreciate all y'all hanging out with us tonight. Great way to end the week. Uh, say no. Femmer Rattlers. No, just say no. <laughs> it's cost. It's a, I am he has unable an to fee. play you. Boogs, Boogs has gotten uh, too big for those games. He now charges two hundred dollars just to show up to those games. He's, pretty much, he's big time. Pretty much, you know, I, I, I don't have time for you know trivial, you know, unnecessary stuff. But on serious note, just get at me. We, we can play sometime. I haven't really played touch my Xbox. I plan on uh, playing Madden and, and streaming more this week. So just whisper me on Twitch or. Inbox me on Twitter, and we can play when I get home next week. That goes for anybody, anybody in the chat that's that's more than that. I, I play on Xbox. Challenge. I play on Xbox. Take down. It's open challenge. Take down the books. Great, Sean. My wife's out of town. My car's broke down. I got to figure out how I'm going to eat tonight. Got an idea. It's this, it's this thing called Grubhub. You can use Grubhub. Touchdown, $10 off your first order, $15 or more. Speaking of touchdowns, Leonard Fournette's into the end zone. Kiv, an early lead. That's real easy. Yeah, I've been there. I actually, rarely does my car break down. M most of the time, the reason I can't leave my house mm -hmm. is uh, I've got a, I've got a, a one-car wide driveway, and I'll park furthest up, and my wife will park behind me, and mm -hmm. then she'll go get in a friend's car and go somewhere. <laughs> and I'll just be like, well, she took her purse and her keys and uh, has trapped me at home. That's when Grubhub comes into play. <laughs> just bring yeah. my food. Yeah, that's, what that's how it works. Honestly, it's it's crazy how far the the world has come. Because you know, I remember back in the day, the only thing you can you you could get delivered was pizza. And now, don't you get know, me wrong, I love me a pizza. But oh yeah, me too. You know, for for me being the health guy, because I kind of grew up pizza being my favorite thing. Like that's like my one like true guilty pleasure. That you know, I'll always try to have that, you know, at, at least once in the year. Papa saying, Book, should I invest in Coach Madden or a 99 Coach D Madden. Wear? Coach Madden all the way. That wasn't even a question. Coach Madden, for sure. The real po Popsicle Jones saying, I'll play Books for Tree Fitty, a case of SpaghettiOs, and a Lawn Flamingo. That's a haul right there. Yeah. Man. Put out that Lawn Flamingo in Atlanta. <laughs> and people know where the player is, and he's at the Lawn Flamingo house. Oh, yeah, for sure. Also, we, we have a weird thing going on in, in the studio today. We, we've gone from last week where it was a sauna to this week it is snowing in here. 
I mean, like, and the thing is, I, I tried to come prepared this week. You got the I, shorts I, on. I put on shorts. No I was layers. like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sweat my life away this time. I'm, I'm going to wear shorts, come prepared, and then I've been shivering literally for the last six hours. And he's not sick this week, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling great. You know, I I, I kicked that little uh whatever it was, whatever that little virus was, where I caught the um my throat was hurting and stuff like that. Whatever it was, I kicked it in pretty much two days. Derrico twenty three eighty saying my power's out, my phone's dead. I'm watching Friday night football in my car while my phone charges. It's dedication right there. Man, that's why it's the best you. community here. Yeah, you know what? I, Nick on Nick, he's gonna get you a Grubhub giveaway whoa, card. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Listen, fresh out of his pockets. I've fresh already called pocket. it for you. Fresh out of his pockets. Yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you uh, to your computer. Yeah, it's, um, you it's just, coming to your computer. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be in your computer though, uh, on your computer's internet, not on your phones, uh, and you have to claim it in the next two minutes. So <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but good luck. Second and ten. For D. Croft trying to answer that early touchdown from Young Kiv in his first Friday night football of the year. Look at the corner right there. That was a very good read. Good patience by, by him. Just throw it to the corner route and good job of not pass leading it down, just throwing it straight <clears throat> and, and not throwing it at the zone. Mind if you missed it, we revealed the two ultimate legends. We're giving them out tonight. Bobby Bell and John Elway, the two ultimate legends. First and ten. All season Vic is Decroft. Quick pass underneath. This this uh this Decroft uh, team has got a little juju going for him. I don't mean Juju Smith Schuster. I mean he's got two titles. Uh and, and last week top aided once again. He's just sort of got this format figured out. Hey. Yeah, he's 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 pretty much figured it out. I, I love what he have on his what he has on his field. He has all big receivers. Big receivers are so valuable in mutt. And and you know you Especially on just on this game period, the way that it plays right now, you know, the high ball is such a valuable asset on the game. And also having guys that, that those big bodies break tackles and stuff like that. Terrell Owens, Julio Jones, those guys are like running backs out there. And then, I mean, that T.O., is just, he's next level. If you don't have a T.O. on your field, you should get one. That dude is next level. Um, I, I remember when I first seen T.O., when they first dropped T.O.'s card, the the good one he was like ninety the, the real good the one the ninety one no yeah. before oh, this, the good the, one yeah he was just the good one but the, he was real good you know back back then and I remember Kerry Q was using him versus me and he was breaking every tackle stiff arming my guys he was just he was just unreal and I knew right then and there that T O car was a car was a must have car but the problem was he was so slow which was the reason why I wouldn't use him and I was just waiting for a faster T O car to come out. Now that, now that we have one, I mean, it's, it's really just a must-have card. Uh-oh. T.O. 10-5 into the end zone. D. Croft with the answer. Finding the legend down the field, making a couple men miss, and all of a sudden, I think what we expected, Bugs, got ourselves a ball game between Young Kim and D. Croft. All right. <gasps> Spicy tuna roll. Nice. California roll. Sushi. I take it. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. And for those of you asking, uh, and Books, this is the part, some, some of that behind the scenes stuff that people maybe don't see. You know, we saw Drini last week. We saw Skimble last week. They're not in it this week. And that tells you how valuable that finishing top eight is because it is invite only and the player pool is so big yeah. that some of these star guys, they, you know, if yeah. you don't make that top eight, you, you're probably yeah, they, not getting in the next yeah, week. They, they don't get, you don't get in. It's not an automatic invite for next week unless a bunch of people uh, decline for, for that week. So um, your chances of getting in is, is very slim in that uh -oh. case. And then uh -oh. right there, give those a pick. Oh, to who's and, that? And is, that's, uh, that's who's Tom. Thornhill? Did that? Yeah, who's who's Thornhill? Guys, who's is Thornhill? that one of the Let rookie cards? It has who's to be a rookie card. It has to be one of these these new guys that got drafted two weeks ago. So that's why you, you on a week to week basis that you gotta get at least two wins in these Friday night footballs to guarantee your spot next week, guarantee another shot at that one thousand dollars because there's no two hundred dollar consolation prize. It's all to the winner. Decroft's uh, made uh, two stacks from this tournament. 
two yeah. wins this year. Yeah, he, he's made two two thousand. Man, this guy right here has been he's been balling in F and F. So, yeah, I, I'm not mad at him at all. He's what he's what he's done has been very very impressive. Uh, let us know. Uh, it's seven seven right now. Let's know who you think is going to win right now. Put a, put a one in the chat for Young Kiv. Put a two in the chat for D Croft. And that pick from Young Kiv, Boogs, that's been sort of typical of what we've seen from Young Kiv this year. It's been just seems like the timing at times is off. He throws an interception, maybe a fumble or something like that, and all of a sudden he's not winning the games you think he would. Yeah, he's Kiv. Honestly, man, it it just it, it hasn't been his best year. You know, we me and him have we've talked about it, especially like in. Um, at Madden Ball, we, we had a lot of conversations about just the year in general and, and how it's went and all that stuff. And, you know, he's 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 not happy with the, the way his years went. And, you know, he knows he hasn't played his best in, you know, in every game. And all, all he can do is just fight through it and, and try his best to, to end it strong. And I think that's why he's participating in tournaments like uh, Friday Night Football now because he wants, he wants his year – when you're a competitor, you really want to end your year off strong. D. Croft missed. It looked like he missed the running back there out of the backfield. Yeah, absolutely. D. Croft is the FNF goat. D. Croft is the FNF goat. It's close. It's close. Think about it. Between him and strafing? him and strafing. Those are the two. Those are the two. Like that's where the con converse conversation starts and ends. Really. Uh, you know, you have some honorable mentions, but it really kind of starts and ends with Strafen and, and D. Croft. Gary James saying, Book, stop. You didn't get a win in Madden Book. You've made it out of the first round. <laughs> no, dude. You know nothing. Yeah, now, what, what do I know? Away. Just go you're, away. Gary, you're right. You're right, Gary. But uh, we're not talking about me right now. We're talking about kids. But since we are talking about me, you're right. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't win a game uh, in the Madden Bowl. I did not play it my, my best um in the Madden Bowl at all. I uh was this a press conference? Or yeah, yeah it's a press conference. I'm sorry I disappointed my fans. <laughs> yeah, sorry I my disappointed family. my fans, my family, you know, all the guys that love me, you know I apologize. It wasn't the best. Um and by the time I played that final game versus some series, I, I really didn't play my best game at all. Like I said, unless he was willing to just lay down and, you know, Give me the game. I, I I feel like I kind of lost all fight at that point. You know, I, I came off a really tough, tough loss against Draney where, you know, I felt like yeah, I could have won that game, but it didn't work out. So, Hand up to Fournette for D. Croft. Trying to punch it in the end zone from four yards out. Goes nowhere. Looking for an early lead. Kip threw an interception on his last drive, the second drive he had. Oh, see, now everyone's nice. See, you, you gave that press conference and all these guys are saying, you're the GOAT. I know, Gary, my fault. I, and that's, honestly, that's... Dude, Gary's not having anything <laughs> of what you're doing. He really disappointed him. He might have had some money riding on you or something. The, that's the thing, man. Like, High honestly, pass. I really don't think nope. you got to Oh, it's That's a huge off. interception right there. Oh, my. Ron Parker is one of the Ron best... P. He's one of the best cap guys in the game. What's his cap? He, uh, depending on which one, probably the 20 cap. Most okay. guys use the 20 cap, but then you have also you have a 34 cap one as well. But <clears throat> yeah, man, what I was gonna say to you, Gary, honestly, bro, that's the thing that hurts the worst, the most, is you know when you go back and you look at it, it's like you you didn't just let yourself down. You got guys, and I haven't wa went back to watch the stream or anything like that, but I'm sure there were people in there in the chat rooting for me, or people you know pulling for me, people tweeting at me, you know, and then. And then you let them down. They took they took the time and the energy to, to to root for you and to you know pull for you. And then you don't get it done. That hurts. It sucks. It sucks. It definitely sucks. D two K Duffy saying books. I'm still waiting on a Gerard Davis upgrade. Bruh, I've been I've been sending the email to, to EA. They mu they must have me on the block list. Third and four for Kiv off that interception in the back of the end zone. Vic. Looking right side of the wheel. Nice recognition there. Maybe a little late from uh, from D. Croft getting over there, but got there in time to pry the ball free, and now an opportunity for D. Croft to get off the field on this fourth and four. 
And we got uh, somebody asked a while ago, and I meant to answer it. When do we do the giveaways? It's always when we come back from break. So when we come back from break, we'll give away a, 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 a Grubhub gift card and one of those cards. And how about D. -Croft? Great defense right there. And it looks like he has all the rookie guys. This is Jay Simmons, whoever that other guy was that got the interception. I mean, D. Crow, he must he must know all of the um, the glitchy um, budget budget guys. First and ten. We've seen Decroft trying to establish that run game with Fournette. And he's going to try to do it once again. Makes the user miss, but... Oh, he breaks one tackle. The block downfield. He's into the end zone. That's what that makes Leonard impressive. Fournette so good. He breaks those little arm tackles so easily. You get one block down the field, and all of a sudden what looked like a three-yard loss turns into six for Decroft. That was so impressive, man. When, when he... <clears throat> if that was me, I'm running out of bounds there. But Decroft... He has such control over his over his guys in the open field that he's able to just stop at the drop of a dime and cut up field and make plays and do things that, quite frankly, I just can't do. And really, majority of the Madden community can't do. Drops are active, guys. Make sure you got your accounts linked. They are active in the chat. Ichabod saying, I'm still rocking, rocking Boogs as my muck coach because he's the man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. You, you, you're a real GOAT. Now young Kiv in a hole. He's he through that interception. Got it back with the pick in the back of the end zone, but then a four and out. And now uh, this has been sort of what young Kiv, anybody who's followed the MCS season has followed young Kiv after his Madden Bowl win last year. Offensively, that's where Kiv's strength is. And I mean, again, better than most, but just not at the level to win some belts, not at the level to yeah. win some tournaments. It's, it's like it's plays like this. He's just not making the reads at the right times, and, and this game's throwing him off. Yeah, he 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 just he he hasn't been able to you know be himself. He has he's been inconsistent, and it's been a rough rough year to say the least. And he's really just trying to make up for it. That has been his best play today. It's six of eleven, sixty eight yards. I think of those six passes, five of them have been to that little hitch high pass. At some level, though, if it's open, you got to just keep hitting it until Decroft adjusts. The, the biggest key when you're a passer. One of the biggest things to get your to really kind of get yourself back in rhythm and playing the way that you're accustomed to playing, just take those little underneath passes, make take all those little baby dots, you know, dink and dunk your way up the field, and before you know it, you're just in the rhythm, and then you just start the, the entire field, and your eyes just get so wide and so big where you can just see literally everything. You just kind of get in that zone, but you got you have to get yourself into that zone by by constantly making those small reads. He's got to take that run up. The, oh, he's got him up the right sidelines. Nobody over there. Easy pitch and catch. Okay, Kiv got a little stop and go action in his. And that's what you can tell. When, when Kiv is at his best, it seems effortless. It doesn't even yeah. seem like it's a read so much. It's just a, a reaction. And now he's inside the red zone, down to the 11-yard line against Decroft. Uh, fam, fam, uh, Rattlers. Family Rattlers. Family Florida Rattlers. Florida A&M University. Shout uh, out to the Rattlers. Legends, I'd like to see. I'd like to see a Barry Sanders, a Calvin Johnson. You just want to list off all the lines? Oh, okay. I would like to see, even though it's not a legend card, I'd like to see Matthew Stafford get more respect and a much better card. And then another legend that's not a lion I would like to see would be Charles Wilson. I'd like to see Charles Wilson get another card. And that that's really some more fanboy stuff because he's a U of M guy. But, you know, how many how many uh, Hall of Fame Michigan State guys are there? None, but I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, I went there. I don't root for them. Oh, okay. I'm an Ohio State fan. 13 or 14. Uh, I think okay. it's 14 or 15 now. Yeah, but, yeah, I would love to see a Charles Wilson. <laughs> What's Charles up, rest Wilson. of us to get to Charles see Charles Wilson. Oh, Peyton Manning. I, w I would love to see a, a Peyton Manning as well. I, I forgot about Peyton Manning. I forgot he hasn't had a card in a while. Now, <clears> last <throat> time out taken by D-Crowd. He's looking to get a stop, get the ball back. Io, truly gifted. Good to see you. And Patriot, no, I did not throw the tournament. No. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, I, I didn't play well, man. That's, that's really what it came down to. Jason Hansen. Doesn't love Jason Hansen. 
Show, hashtag show kickers respect. Show punters respect. Special teams matter. Honestly, the, on, the only kicker, especially if we were talking about legend kickers. Prayer to the greater. The only one that deserves Back a the card. Inside. That's nice a great read. Dive. That's a great read. Wait until he just passed that. Uh, I think that was Ed Reed in coverage, possibly. Wait mm -hmm. until he just passed that little 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 dot to the back of the end zone with a buck fifty three left. It's tied at fourteen. As late as he threw it, if he if even if it's not an accurate throw, it, it probably goes out of the back of the end zone. And so that's that's the benefit of throwing it so late because it, it's the chances of it being intercepted is so slim that it it, it becomes like a really good read. And we can already give you some results going into the second round. Shift got over B Wood. Kratobin 30 to 3 over Scorpion. Scorpion uh, uh, just gets run over by Kratobin, the Madden Challenge champ. He's looking to win his first Friday night football. Carrie Q's into the second round. Fitz Magic's into the second round. Got plenty of action left. First round action here, Friday night football number 14. And that's a miss. Miss throw so by the high that's ball. That's a miss by only a lot. <laughs> yeah, the, the high ball is is one of those things where you you have to live with it because there it shouldn't be a one hundred percent accuracy with high balls. There should be some dice rolls involved. There should be um, some chance involved with with making that decision. Uh, straight off, is this salary cap? Yep, salary cap here on Friday Night Football. Second and ten for D. Croft with the ball, no timeouts. He's going to dump this off underneath to Randy Moss. He'll pick up eight. Now you got to worry here with a third and two. You got two downs to pick up the first down, but you got to worry about giving the ball back to young kid with time on the yeah. clock and three timeouts. And you don't want to give him the ball back with too much time because he can he can go downfield just like that. Like so, you don't you don't want to give him too much time to just do whatever he wants to do offensively. You want him to be racing against the clock, and you don't want it to be easy. And because a minute. Even 30 seconds is a lifetime in Madden. And he just threw a high ball to the sideline, overthrew it, went out of bounds, and he just stopped the clock. If he gets stopped here, then he gives Kiv, not only does he give Kiv the ball back with a minute 18. <laughs> Serena says you should be in the tournament while casting. That would be great. I, I want to do that one time. Rockets, and he, he won't let me. But... You know, he's trying to keep the books down. Yeah, he's trying to keep me down, man. I've I've been lobbying for this for the last eight F and Fs, but he, he just won't let it happen, man. Yeah, so y, I, you got to hit Y over the middle there. That's a great back throw, picked off. Kid. Great decision by Kid. He's got some room. Spin move. Can he get to the end zone? Julio with the touchdown saving tackle. That's Tremaine Edmonds with the pick. It was just missed reads <laughs> all over the field, and then makes the worst read of them all. Throwing it right to Kiv. Showing off a little spin move. <laughs> and great job by Kiv to to click uh, to spin as soon as he gets the interception to stop the camera from slowing him down. I, I gave that tip a while ago. I'll give it again. When you get to prevent yourself from slowing down on those interceptions, yeah, and I saw the little slide comment <laughs> by Zan. I'm trying my best not to respond. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but um, <clears throat> oh yeah. So what I was gonna say is when the camera flips like that on you, one of the best ways to prevent that. It's, as soon as you get the interception, spin or hurdle, and then it'll, it'll keep your momentum going forward instead of stopping you and making you go backwards. Man, here's all I'm saying. Cody's trying to keep you down. Yeah, Cody's Zan's trying to keep me trying down. To keep Zan's down. trying to keep me down. Zan, Zan don't want me to come in because he says I threw eight picks in the squads tournament last time I, Last time we Is saw that me. true? Did you throw eight picks? Yeah, it, it was Strafen's fault, though. I would say Strafen run a slant, he'd run a corner out. And so I'm expecting a slant and – it, it, it was that bad. Guy. It was bad. That guy, between, he's a wild card, man. Yeah, it, it was not a good look. Uh, between Strafen and Drini, they let me down. And Drini is normally a very reliable receiver, and we've had some some we've had a lot of success um, playing squads, but that, it just wasn't a good day. It's pro I, I blame Strafen because me and Drini, we've had the uh, chemistry before where we look pretty good. Down under ten seconds to go in the first half. Kid third and eight. Vic. Out of the pocket, throws back across his body. Good coverage in the back of the end zone. Five seconds left. Going to take the field goal. Go into halftime. 
possibly with a three-point lead. We've seen special teams. We saw it in the final last week as the kick is up and good in 70-14 at the half. We saw it last week. What a finish we had in the final Friday Night Football number 13. Dad Yogurt Lurk taking on VY Electrified. Dad Yogurt Lurk with a kick at the end of the game from 53 to win it. It was a tie ball game. No time left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, big That's tackle. That's so scary when when the ball is in D Croft's hand because he has the he has the ability to take it all the way to the house. Cookie boy in the chat, what's going on, Cook? Uh, but we saw that kick from Dad Yogurt Lurk to win, and what what a story would have been. I know that was crazy because I called Dunk. it. I was like I was like, game's over. That's the game. GG's in the chat. Oh, we were done. We, yeah, I was we, like packing up. I was yeah, taking I was off taking my, my headset. headset off. It was time to go. I was like packing up my <laughs> backpack and right off the crossbar they go to overtime and Vy. Was your Friday Night Football number 13 champion? I tell you guys, if you're interested in playing in Friday Night Football, make sure you fill out that info sheet. You never know what could happen. Yeah, hit exclamation mark, compete, fill out that form. Like I said, guys are. I, I sit in the meetings from time to time, and they go through every single name that fill out the form. They go through every single name, and it gets added to a list. And they go through every name every week. So if you want to get considered, just fill out that form. Second and one for Decroft with the ball to start the second half down three. My guy, Cookie Boy. What's up, man? How you doing? Cook's my dude. Check him out. Check out Cookie Boy over on YouTube. Puts out some great Madden content. One of the great Madden content creators. And as we said, guys, uh, as we, we, we saw a couple subs come in, we certainly appreciate anybody who subs the channel. That makes, goes back into uh, these tournaments that we're able to put on. But, you know, even if you don't sub here, make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're supporting all the great Madden creators, whether it's the professional players here, whether it's content creators on YouTube. Support the game. Help it grow. Books, you and I always talk about watching this game grow, seeing things like Friday Night Football have more viewers, seeing the, the Madden Bowl have more viewers. That's all great for the game because the more eyes we can get on it, the more numbers we can get, better prize pools, more sponsors, and the game grows as a whole. It, it, exactly. And it, it, it's such a, a beautiful thing to watch. I mean, we were about 500 short of reaching 20K viewers last week. You know, we, it, the chat was rolling and flying. Cowboy, what's up? Shout out um, to BL Stan 491. Shout out to BL Stan for the sub. And let's. I need to put a reminder in my phone to figure out a new um, sub alert sound you just because don't want I've, Viking I've, I've had enough of that Viking horn. Can't handle it. Um, nice read there. That was a really nice read. And that was probably What's the up? fifth read on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, good decision though. At the end of the day, he he, he didn't he didn't make a, a bad decision. He didn't. Following three twenty four, just subscribe and give you a better like chance for giveaways. No, it's all random by by uh, Nightbot. No, yeah, and also subscribing to the channel isn't a must. It's it's honestly it's not even something that's pushed. It's we we push more for you to just support someone in the community, and if, especially if you have that uh, that um, Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Just support free sub to one yeah, channel. Yeah, free sub to so, so, someone's channel. It doesn't have to be uh, the. Mudhead stream. It could be anyone in the community. It could be a guy like Cookie Boy, even though I don't think Cookie Boy streams on Twitch anymore. But nah, he's it, all over that YouTube. Um, he's got that YouTube money. Six, it could be a guy like Dreamy, who's who's been grinding the stream. Clef, Clef streams all the time. Uh, Clef that's streaming all the time. Just someone in the Madden community. It, it doesn't matter who it is. It, Gut Fox, whoever, anyone that's streaming Madden, support the community. Hey, speaking of Gut Fox, we talked about how an interesting matchup: Joke taking on Skins. Skins was 13 and 4 mm -hmm. in uh, in Friday Night Football. Joke uh, come back first time in Friday Night Football in quite a while. Skins takes down Joke 27 17. Skins is is the it might be in, shout out to Chief V Panda looking for a Black Ops 4 party. Uh, love that guy. Um, <laughs> talking about Skins, you know, I think he, there's no doubt he is the best player in Friday Night Football with the best record not to have a Friday Night Football title under his belt. He's not fourteen and four. Yeah, he he's played lights out and pretty much every tournament he's been in. This this guy is just an F and F baller. Got like B. you have to respect. Scott B. Put him in the end zone. How about D. Croft with the answer? Randy Dandy Moss into the end zone. He's back on top of Young Kim. Big shout out to Bear of Sin One with the sub and here on Twitch. And I'm starting to feel like guys are trying to troll me now because I just say you can take that sub and support someone else. 
Now they're subbing to the channel just to troll me with this Viking sound. <laughs> we don't need all that. That's it. You know, let's keep the chat nice and positive. Let's keep everyone happy. Let's keep a smile on on my face. You know, that's what it's all about. Well, we got next week, we got two streams, I think, at the end of the week. Am, am oh, I yeah. right on that one? Thursday night and Friday night we right have a here. a special Thursday night. It's going to be Zan and, and Muck the, Guru, I believe. And the guy. My guy, Mutt Guru, is coming back. He'll be here next week for the special stream. Uh, I believe there – and then there's still going to be some more Friday night football. Yep. Uh, on that Friday. And, y'all, make sure you hit that follow button. Not just because you got to hit the follow button if you want to win any of our giveaways, but also you'll know each and every time that we go live, uh, whether it's with Friday night football, whether with it's with a special Thursday night edition, you don't want to miss out on that one. We have the community stream. PS, I think it's going to be on PS4 as well. I think it's full PS4. We had we have uh, you know the Mudhead community guys that's just been a part of the Mud community for a while, supporting. Those guys are going to go at it. They they've never played for. I'm assuming most of them ha haven't played for this amount of money before, and had this you know these kind of pressure oh. games on on Madden. So it should be fun to watch. How about this? I just saw it. Uh, Free the Penguins. Chicharito up 19-15 on Sirius Mo. Mm -hmm. Mo with 19 seconds left just punched it in with Todd Gurley. He's up 21-19 pending this extra point, which is up and good. So he's got a three-point lead. Chicharito's got two timeouts left with 19 seconds remaining, an opportunity to tie the game, but not a whole lot of time on the clock. Sirius Mo with the guap drive. Yeah, that's one thing about Mo, man. He he has that – the guy's clutch. He just has it in him where, you know, you – You have the clutch, Gene. Even By the if way, he's not good. He's a guy I, I got to work you, with you in the You don't want him to have the ball he's at not, the end. He's not just clutch on the sticks. He's clutch in the booth as well. Oh, yeah, he did a great job at the tournament, man. I, honestly, I feel like all of the the pros that got in the booth great. did a great job. Great I, can't, job. I can't think of one guy that, that – that I was not impressed with. That I, I feel like they all did great at the at the uh, tournaments that they participated in. Yeah, that was that was like the the best thing that they added for the MCS. I'm a huge fan of it. Other I'm a huge fan. Of course, me was uh, adding those players. <laughs> Skimbo at the clubs. We had problem at the uh, the Madden Challenge. Uh, we had uh, uh, Strafin at the LCQ, and then we had uh, Mo at the uh, Madden Bowl. All absolutely knocked it out of the the park. Yes, I should have used was, a football. I should use a football metaphor there. Fourth quarter, get your fours in the chat. Who do you like to win this game? As we have a close ball game. One here. for we, Kiv. One for, for Kiv. Two for Decroft. Talk to me, chat. I'm sorry, I'm locked in on this. Uh, this free the penguins. Free the penguins. Chicharito, of course, one of the last chance qualifiers for the Madden Bowl. Putting up a fight. Had a late lead. Serious Mo able to take it to its 22, 19, 11 seconds remaining. Let's see if uh, Free the Penguins can do anything here. I mean, deep down the field, he just threw a pick. That game's over. Serious Mo into the second round with a big win. Uh, other finals. Tsiki taking out Musafa. Tiski. I don't know why I said Tsiki. Tiski. Yeah, I was like, I was, I, I was, I was going to ask. So here's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, as a big touchdown there from Kiv. I, I, I was, I had, I had Greek food earlier, uh, which has tzatziki sauce. You had Greek food earlier? Yeah, yeah I did. Oh, okay. Last night for dinner. I was thinking I, I, about it. I was dreaming of it. A little chicken chihuahua. But, but how was it earlier? If that was it last was night. earlier. That's a day ago. In fairness, I was I I didn't really sleep last night, oh, okay. so it's all it's right. all now one it continuous day for me. It counts. Me. It counts as one continuous day. It's all day. one. But oh. Tiski taking down Musafa, 24-16. Mm -hmm. uh, we just said Mo take, uh, took out Chicharito, 22-19. Clef taking out Legend, 31-24. Shakobi came out on top of Suspect, 28-7. to And Jay Wolfman over Oreo, 17-6. to D. Los, what's going on, man? How you been? <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Dan's on top of it. Zan's. Thanks, Dan. You're doing a great job. <laughs> uh, lead off saying, can we have a draft bust category? Ryan Leaf, Jamarcus Russell, Trent Richardson, and Roberto Aguayo. 
I would love Who is Roberto Aguayo? He was the kicker out of Florida State. He went second second round or third round to the Buccaneers. And uh, well, the Buccaneers are just dumb for kicked taking Kicked like a, taking 65% kick. field goals rookie year, and they, they were just like, all right. We'll Heavy dozer. Like, what's going on, homie? So Ryan Leaf, Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell got to be it. Oh, he's, he's well, I don't know. Ryan, Ryan Leaf. Man, Ryan Leaf is the biggest boss. Ryan Leaf. Trent Richardson's a great but boss. Jamarcus Russell is a close second. I mean, I could just go down all the Browns draft picks that were bust. <laughs> it would yeah, take I mean, you guys drafted. Justin Gilbert, uh, Brandon Whedon. Tim Couch. Yeah. Uh, Couchy wasn't a bust. Tim, Tim Couch he wasn't a do, bust? He let him do the playoffs. Got him to the playoffs. Tim Couch wasn't a bust? Got him to the playoffs. They're an expansion team. What do you want? Oh now, Johnny Football, Brady Quinn, Brandon Whedon, they were all busts. Listen, the quarterbacks have not been pretty. How about, uh, how about Joey Harrington? Thoughts on Joey Harrington out of Oregon? Oh, he, that was one of the greatest, 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 greatest Joey picks Harrington, of all Charles time. Rogers? Charles Rogers? Yes, a Michigan State top 10 pick. <laughs> Charles Rogers. <laughs> What's the play here? Run the clock out. 24-21. Well, Decroft down three. Post route. Got him. Randy Moss <laughs> once again. Yeah, Joey Harrington has to be one of the worst picks ever. <laughs> Corey Coleman. Yeah, Corey Coleman. Look at that turn his, his career around. Jimmy Clausen, any Notre Dame Jimmy quarterback Clawson? But ever? But Jimmy Clausen was drafted late, wasn't he? Uh, I thought Clausen was a first rounder. I don't think he was a first rounder. Second rounder, at, could be wrong. At best, I don't know why. Like, this is the it's part of my life the, that I gotta I know, stop. It's, it's, we have the internet. <laughs> like, we don't need the ballroom debate. Just use Google. Uh, second round. You're right. Carolina Panthers. Second round pick, though. If you're taking a second round quarterback, yeah, you're I guess so. That's still a high right? pick. But you don't. You, you, Derek Carr, you, I will not give a bust, a bust yet. Derek. Oh, I thought you were saying David, David Carr. David Carr. Yeah, well, he was not. Honestly, good. David Carr, it wasn't David Carr's fault. What they, offensive line did they have in Houston? Yeah, they ruined David Carr. I think David Carr was a good quarterback. I didn't think he was that bad. Um, I, I think it was more on the Texans than it was David Carr. Reggie Bush was not a bust. I don't think Reggie Bush was as good as people thought he was going to be, but I think his expectations were too high. Reggie Bush was a very serviceable player. He wasn't a bust. Like, Ryan Leaf was a bust. He was absolutely awful. He's got wide down the field. Don't take Julio underneath. 238 to go in this game. You guys classified David Carr as a bust? Really? I feel like it was more on the, on the Texans Dave, than anything. David Carr was hung out to dry. And it's why I hesitate on, like, like Tim Couch, for example, I hesitate on because no, expansion team with no players around. Boy, the Texans, I'm surprised to see, by the way, Decroft going for this on fourth and five. He's taking 40, the, he's 40 taking the risk yard right field here. Goal. You t maybe he's thinking he needs to get seven here to win this game because he's probably thinking Kiv's going to get the ball and just go score. So uh, I'm not a fan Brian of this Leaf decision. Brian Leaf was better than Jamarcus Russell. Yeah, I, I agree. He takes the penalty. Took the penalty. And I, I believe he time off the clock as well. I wasn't paying attention to the game clock. Did it have enough? Does it have enough? He hit the camera. It's good. 24 all. Can the defense stop young Kiv? Kiv's got a guap drive here, Bugs. 24-24 and what has been a very good first round matchup. Only the first round here. This, ain't, this is no championship this, game. This game could easily be a finals matchup. Like that that's that's, that's how uh, that's how good these two players are, dude. Shout out to Sooner Twelve M whipping up Kijana Carter from the Cincinnati oh, I for, Bengals. I forgot about that guy. How about Peter Warwick, Florida State guy? He went to Cincinnati as well. He got arrested a lot. Rage and J Wall tied at seventeen. Let's see if we got any other results in here. K Mac on, on took out Steven, thirty-eight twenty-one. Golden Glover took out VY Electrify, the defending champ out in the first round. Golden Glover takes him out 18-16, the score in that one. So we only got three games with results we're waiting on. The game you're watching right now, D. Croft taking on Young Kid. J-Wall and Rage are tied at 17. And then AKG and Ghost. Check in on this, uh, this Rage J-Wall game. 55 seconds left, and it looks like... Uh, looks like Rage. He's down at the twenty-four yard line. Um, Running down some clock. I look at a year before this year's Madden twenty. Uh, who? What? what what's the question? Kyler Murray. You think Kyler Murray's gonna be rookie of the year? Kyler Murray. Kyler rookie Murray. of the year. 
See, I, I know who I think will be... I, I know the guys I think will be good. I don't think Kyler Murray will be. I just I don't think Arizona has enough around him as a first down picked up by Kim. I know, um, like, Nikhil Harry, I think, might have been the best first round pick. Great. If you, if you didn't get a step to watch him in the Pac-12, uh, Arizona State, Nikhil Harry, big physical wide receiver, gives a legit number one target to Tom Running back Brady. wide open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ruh -ruh raggy. Wait, way to stay in bounds by Kiv. That's a veteran move right there to just stay in bounds. Make sure you keep clock rolling. He didn't. He made sure he came you know, further Smith. inside. Yes. I mean, the Browns terrible at picking quarterback. You know who I hated? I, I could not stand not, this guy. Smith was a bangle. Scott Mitchell. That guy right there. I hated him as a kid. There weren't many people I hated. I don't even say that often. Period. Scott Mitchell. I couldn't stand that guy. I'll, I'll switch it to I couldn't stand because I don't like saying that. So I couldn't stand that guy. Scott Mitchell was the worst. A first down will seal it for Kiv, assuming he can make a field goal. He's got a second and five here, buck 43 to go. Jay saying Greedy Williams. Uh, I, the only reason I'm not saying Kyler Murray won't be good. I'm just saying I don't think he'll be rookie of the. I don't think he's going to put up the numbers to be rookie of the year. Um, I. The problem is it's it's tough trying to predict what defensive players are going to do. Nick Bosa is going to be very good. Yeah. But can he put up enough stats? Uh, Dexter Lawrence, I think, is going to be very good. Uh, as that may have just sealed it right there for Young Kiv. No timeouts remaining for Decroft. You can just. So, you know, run the ball, take some knees, kick yeah, a field take goal. Take some knees, kick this three. Get in the second round. Kiv start, starting off strong. It, it, it was a little rough for him at the beginning of this game. Threw some some bad passes, got locked up a few plays. But he he, he grinded this one out, able to get, get through the first round matchup. Excited to see him move <laughs> on and, and see what he can do. Saw someone in the chat say, was this kid old enough to see Mitchell play? Yes, I was old enough to see Scott Mitchell play, and I could not stand that guy. Oh, rookie of the year, it's going to be mask. That's a big face mask. Gives him a free first down. So I'm assuming D-Croft turned on uh, aggressive strip. strip. Yep. Aggressive strip. You turn on aggressive strip, you take the chance of getting more face mask calls. Uh, so that Nick, takes more time off the – whoa, the clock stopped. Off that face mask? Yeah. Kiv accepted it. So I, I guess on a tie ball game, yeah, it does. I mean, stopped. again, it, it's all sort of moot as so you can just sort of kneel it out. Um Devin White is going to be very good, I think. I, I Nick Bosa, physical skills, he's better than Joey Bosa. But does he put it together? You never know. Mm -hmm. um, this was a, a weird draft, I think. All, I don't. There wasn't a ton of offensive skill. What, we only saw two or three wide receivers. Hollywood Brown going in the first round. Um, DK Metcalf fell all the way to the second round. I don't think DK Metcalf was going to be... Uh, uh, I, those agility numbers scare me. Yeah. When for you've sure. got the same agility as Tom Brady, <laughs> that scares me. Yeah, it's a little scary. But if I, I feel like it all depends on where you go. So you give him, I forgot where he, where did he get dropped? To Seattle, right? Yeah. No Doug Baldwin anymore. Yeah, yeah I, I don't he know. He might be I don't the number one receiver. He's going to look in Seattle, but in a place like New Orleans or New England, yeah, second where round. you have coaches that. They maximize your skill set, then I feel like he he could be successful as a receiver. But when you go to certain certain teams and the, the coaches don't, they they kind of demand you to just be who they want you to be versus just maximizing your skills. That's when it becomes rough. Simple Jack saying Metcalf will be a bust. I err on that side. He's got some physical skills. I just those agility numbers scare me. But it's all about what you do on the field. Is uh, how about this young kid? This is a uh, incredibly difficult 23-yard field goal from the center hash marks. Don't get it blocked, and you're going on to the second round. It's up. It is good. Zeroes on the clock. Young Kiv knocking out who may be the uh, the go to Friday night.